What's the film of yours that's showing at the Israel Film Festival? The film is uh, Savannah Hijacking, my version. It's uh, the story of the 1972 hijack of Sabina plane uh, from Brussels to Israel. Um, it's based on an audio tape we found uh, after the death of the pilot, Reginald Levy. Uh, an 80-minute audio tape, him telling the whole story from beginning to end. And uh, using that, we reenacted dramatically most of the film. And who was Reginald Levy? Reginald Levy, Captain Reginald Levy, was the pilot of uh, the Sabena airliner. He, he was a World War II pilot from England who flew Sabena, and he was on the plane celebrating his 50th wife, his 50th uh, birth, birthday, birthday, with his wife in the back of the plane, uh, and was hijacked over Vienna. So what's unique about this hijacking movie that we haven't seen in other ones, let's say from 9-11 or even Radar on Entebbe? Well, uh, uh, there are a few things. This was the first time uh, a rescue mission was uh, held on a uh, hijacked plane. Um, the Israeli combat unit, uh, Sayyid Patkal, uh, stormed in the plane. Uh, what's unique is uh, heading this group was Ehud Barak, former Prime Minister of Israel. And one of the officers in this group is uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, the current prime minister. So in this film, you have three prime ministers alongside with Shimon Peres, who was uh, minister of transportation in 1972. And has this been uh, dramatized in the past on television or anywhere? No. This uh, um, was never, I don't think there was even a documentary made about the uh, Sabena hijacking. Um, this is the first time it's been told on video and television and theater. And who do you have with you here? Well, uh, luckily, luckily in LA is Yaron. He's the grandson of uh, Reginald Levy. And he came to see the movie for the first time. You're the grandson. You, you know the story? Of course I know the story. I grew up on this story. <laughs> so it must be very emotional for you to see it depicted. It is. I saw a uh, sneak peek of like a preview um, of the movie. Very, very emotional. I know my mother has been involved uh, in the production of this movie with uh, information and um, and helping out in many and aspects. Taking part. And taking part also, interviewed. Um, so I've been part of this, but living in L.A. now, uh, far away from it. So very excited that this movie is at the Israeli Film Festival and that I'll get to see it. Uh, it's in Hebrew, isn't it? I it's multilingual. It's uh, in Hebrew, English, Arabic, a little French. But it's subtitled in? Subtitled in English. Perfect. And has it shown outside of uh, this festival? Has it shown in, Israel, in America before? Uh, we had two screenings, uh, well actually three. One in Philadelphia, and another in Minneapolis, and at Harvard uh, Negotiation School just a week ago. Uh, we screened the movie and had a discussion about the negotiation process uh, with hijackers. Very interesting. Um, you say this is the, the story of your family. I mean, it's a, it's a, it, uh, I assume that, that somebody lived, the passengers survived, which is why you're telling this tale, or is that not true? Well, uh, except for one passenger, everyone um, who was not on the hijacking side survived this ordeal. Uh, not to mention earlier, this is the first time that a country or anyone has given in, didn't give in to terrorist demands and the successful rescue attempt. Uh, my grandfather had a very important role in that, that rescue. Um, and yes, that has become part of our family story and who I am today. You mentioned the Harvard negotiation uh, 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 project. What did they learn from this? Um, I don't know what they learned. They usually uh, use these in incidents to learn from and to discuss. Uh, again, uh, the process of, uh, of uh, um, um, you know, keeping the conversation going on with the hijackers until they get tired. You know, the, usually the, the side, the hijackers don't get the time to rest. They, they lose uh, their, uh, their ability to think properly during the process. And, and that's when the Israelis use that to trick them uh, and bluff the negotiations in order to uh, rescue with military force the uh, passengers. As an Israeli yourself, 
does it feel, uh, uh, is uh, aviation security an area that you feel uh, Israel gets respect in? Uh, well, actually, uh, after the Entebbe incident, four years later, hijacking of Israeli uh, airplanes stopped. Uh, and security uh, today is uh, probably the strongest there is in the, in the world because we're, we're in danger to be uh, threatened with aviation. So I think we're, we're, we're pretty secure on the Israeli airline. What's your full name, please? Yaron Lipschitz. L-I-P-S-C-H-I-T-Z. And is it okay to use this uh, also in the news story? Yes, okay. absolutely. Thank you, guys. Fantastic. You're going to miss. I'm going to miss it. You're going to miss the best part.